Hello viewers I am going to share with you my success story on licensing in dental surgery exam as you know licensing in dental surgery exam conducted by the Royal College of Surgeons England is an exam which has got three parts LDS 1 2 and 3 and I have cleared both 1 and 2 and I'm preparing for my LDS 3 so I thought I will share a video with the all of you which will help you to prepare this exam My LDS journey was a very tiring yet rewarding one. From April 2024, I relocated to my clinic to focus better on it. From March to May 2024, I stayed in my clinic full time. The room this room became my dedicated study hub. I spent countless hours reviewing notes, posting MCQs and covering various topics. I focused intensely on recalls and continuous memorization. Despite the exhaustive effort, the process proved to be a rewarding experience, especially after such a long gap from rigorous academic preparation for me. The day of the exam was truly special. Our team began the day with a prayer ritual, setting a positive tone. I meticulously prepared the room for the proper exam by removing every item to ensure full compliance. My laptop was positioned in front of me and a second device was placed on the side for observation, enabling the proctor to monitor my activity throughout the exam. Overall the journey was challenging yet fulfilling culminating in excellent results it remains a deeply memorable and transformative experience for me first of all you should understand that booking an exam for any uk based uh, licensing exams are very difficult whether it is uh, ore which is conducted by general dental council uk we call that as gdc and uh, we call that exam as ore otherwise called as overseas registration exam so that is one way which will help you to reach uk the second thing is called lds lds is a degree so if you write this exam you will get this degree and this degree will help you to register your name in the general dental council and that will help you to practice dentistry in uk so there are two ways you can approach this exam the first thing is i said ore or lds so i'm going to talk to you about lds As you as you know that uh, LDS is conducted by the Royal College of Surgeons of England the exam booking generally comes in the month of May so last year May 2025 exam we got the booking in December 2023 uh, 2024 exam i wrote and 2023 December itself they opened the exam uh, booking on 2nd of December luckily you know i was in one of the groups and that group you know they were sharing this message that the booking has come so i went and i just you know i had an account already opened and kept you know you need to open an account in rcs england because your name everything has to be registered so once i did the booking you know i paid the money i got the booking i was very happy so then i was thinking what to do because you know i was i booked the exam but i don't know where to start what to do so i approached various whatsapp groups so there are a lot of people uh, like me who have already you know uh, were preparing to go to uk foreign dentist so we had a lot of whatsapp groups various uh, mentoring and tutoring companies they run uh, whatsapp groups i was in part of some groups so i understood there are a lot of other people so we started a group so when we started a group it was a very good experience you know people were discussing things on how to prepare how to start where to start so what i would uh, suggest and recommend in this is going to be few tips on how to uh, you know excel this exams okay you study and not only really pass but in excel first of all the first thing i found out in my experience is lot of people are already in uk in the uk and they are working as hygienist working as therapist or working as some kind of nurses some kind of things uh, which they are in already so the thing is time management so they are working there till the evening and they have to come and study so they are finding it difficult so they all are looking for some kind of shortcuts okay whether i can just quickly do something i so that i can pass the exam I would strongly discourage this kind of mentality because you know once you know I am a clinician with more than 20 years of experience 22 years of experience and you know I have so much knowledge on the subject so I realized that you know my basics I have to be brushed up I know most of the clinical things but uh, when I see young doctors who just finished graduation from India Pakistan Bangladesh Sri Lanka wherever they are when they go to UK they find that you know Uh, you know they are out of touch for, with the clinical dentistry for some time they are in the clinic but they are not into dentistry they are doing some kind of assistant work and things like that 
so what happens is they get a lot of problems here they they really lack the knowledge and confidence so the first thing is it's it's unavoidable you cannot be there in uk and not working because people have to sustain themselves they have to earn the money uh, to live there it's it's very kind of struggle life there i can tell you a lot of people you know they go through hardships being a dentist in say in their mother country and they go to uk and becoming a nurse you know they feel very demotivated in that mindset so i feel a lot of people are mentally you know very disturbed so coming to the point here uh how to start so once you booked uh, all these exams i would request you to have a consistent study plan of at least 2 hours in the evening and 1 hour early in the morning you have to spare 3 hours most of you will get definitely 3 months time so how should you plan this 3 months time the first thing is a consistent study timing you have to have a nice place you have to study the table where i am talking is the room where it's my office room where i am where i am studying for most of the time for this exam because it's an online exam i am in chennai so i was studying through online and i was i wrote i wrote this exam online so even i had you know the greatest difficulty was the timing because most of my friends in uk when they discuss something they start at indian time in the night around 11 o'clock 12 o'clock and it goes up to 4 o'clock which is my sleeping time so i have to run a practice do surgeries here so it's it was quite difficult for me i have a family also so as you know everyone has got their own struggles but still i could manage to study at least 5 hours 4 hours in a day you know as you think you know it you may it might sound slightly easy okay chalo we will see all these things but i could tell you that you know it's going to be very very difficult for you you know because there are a lot of things you need to cover so as you know what is the structure of this exam the structure of this exam is three parts part 1 LDS part 1 part 2 part 3 i am going to talk only about part 1 in this video because part 1 uh, is what most of you must be starting right now so the part 1 consists of you know two exams one in the morning and there is a small break and you have to do again in the afternoon okay it is going to be an 150 set of questions in the first part and the second part is going to be another 150 questions so you know what kind of questions they might ask you the questions might be from uh, you know there are various huge topics they cover from you know clinical dentistry like various topics like restorative prosthetics and so many things we have periodontics and all that so secondly they also cover ethics communication okay the first thing is you have to read this textbook which i am showing here this is called pink book Uh, by by the nickname actually it is clinical textbook of dentistry you know it's oxford's clinical textbook of dentistry otherwise called as pink book which is the must book you have to read because every every information is consolidated nicely so i read this book nicely also i would recommend you know the second most important thing you need to do is you have to buy a subscription called pass test p a s t s pass test is a company which coaches uh, people for uh, mbbs doctors they when they go to uk they write up they have to write an exam called plab exam mrcp exam so this uh, company coaches many doctors for that purpose so also they have dentistry course in dentistry if you buy you have a nice um, set of questions there exactly simulating the pattern of lds and mfds okay there is another exam called mfds so somewhere similar to all these exams so the only thing you will be missing is the anatomy the physiology and the basic part lds for us it it didn't have much of any physiology questions it had anatomy you know anatomy also it's not very vague it's very crisp you know uh, like maxillary nerve mandibular nerve uh, tmj and muscles of mastication and all this uh, tongue and all that basic stuff so it's very easy if you have some notes made up so these days what i would recommend is there are a lot of pre uh, prepared notes already available for all these topics okay see most of the companies uh, you might ask the second question is is it worth joining any course what i would suggest is for people who want to be spoon fed you know they want everything already done and dusted like for example some kind of uh preparation being done on each topics they will be need uh, they will be just giving this information and you can just start reading topic wise okay yes i took a course from one of my friend recommended called davis course it was quite good because they gave me a portal and i logged in there and i just uh, saw various you know how, how the exam is 
and uh, and there are there are so many topics you know they covered you know it was they were also evolving that time they had a separate uh, a course for ore people and and lds people because ore has got physiology immunology and all those other stuff but in uh, lds it's mostly clinical so the questions will be like they give a long scenario uh, so that scenarios will be longer you have to manage time the most important point in managing uh, this exam is time management because you won't have time to read the question see the option select the answer so if you practice past test definitely this will help you because by doing this exams uh, in past test questions in past test you will be able to recollect so many things also you should you know go to telegram channels where telegrams have got this mcqs uh, you know there are a lot of mcqs they have put in many groups so you can try that so that is also going to be very helpful to you and the most important thing is your whatsapp group you have to either lead the group or make a group and start sharing questions and uh, you know i see a lot of people looking for study partner see it is it is it, it has to start from you first you start taking initiative everyone thinks somebody will come will lead us you have to be the leader you have to start posting questions explaining answers debate with people and try to find out some solutions okay that was the best part of my journey with part 1 because we had a nice group where we were sharing you know the lot of questions with, uh, with the whatsapp group people okay the next point for you is what to do inside the whatsapp group so inside the whatsapp group the thing is i told you to share questions and ask so that is one thing the second thing is try to get the questions there are many uh, dentists they write the questions in which was asked in the exam and they will keep it as a treasure for helping their next friends and other people so these kind of questions are highly valuable most of the coaching centers they give you these questions they collect it from students they make a question list and they will try to uh, give you this question so that you know they also get benefited and the students like you and me will be benefited so when you ask them they will give you that question so that you will know okay these are the topics which have been asked so uh, so you will know what has to be studied nicely so what are what should be your focus areas and all this will be very helpful the next question for you uh, the next um, uh, suggestion to you solution to you is you know uh, you have to read the concepts of things because um, if they twist the question you might have to you know uh, use your own knowledge to answer so what i would recommend is you should read about perio okay what they are talking how is staging and grading being calculated so all this you know if you start doing it it will be uh, you know if you understand it and study it you can answer all sorts of questions this is what i found many people were missing during this journey they just want to know the question and answer they don't take efforts to get into the knowledge of the subject especially staging grading things and there are many other things like legal ethics they find it very complex to remember so if you study with some kind of basic understanding it will be very helpful okay and finally what i would suggest is you have to revise everything active recall you have to keep studying this in these things again and again so that it don't get volatile from your brain and it will stay in your brain because like anatomy is highly volatile you have to keep memorizing the facts with mnemonics and things like that okay the second thing is you have to um you know have some group discussions okay uh, not in the initial stage maybe in the middle stage have whatsapp groups or sorry have some zoom meetings or uh, kind of google meets put everyone in one group and you can start discussing questions and try to get feedback from all these people because it's very helpful so with uh, when you do all this definitely it will help you i will also give you the checklist of books to be read in the trans in the in the description what are the books you need to read and uh, all the links uh, necessary for this exam so i wish and hope all the best to all of you who are writing this exam and i also uh, can coach you if you really like me to coach you for this exam you can message me or contact me in the number given below um, we will make a suitable plan i can i can try giving you mock test uh, clinical simulations i have cleared lds 1 2 and membership in uh, implant dentistry from royal college of surgeons edinburgh also i have cleared my mfds from royal college of surgeons england mm -hmm. so i have huge experience in handling various question scenarios oscis and all sorts of things with uk exams so if you like my video please share this video definitely i think i've added some value to this 
uh, exams to you so this will really be helpful i am going to make series of uh, videos on this kind of topic so exactly what to read how to read and all that definitely those please continually watching all these videos will really help you okay and i am also making videos for lds2 people how to practice for oskis what are the focus areas everything so i hope this will be really helpful to you thank you so much and god bless you